Hello and welcome to Starfield, a game set in the universe where you can fly around, explore planets and fight space pirates. This is Jump Inside Games and we are here to review the first two hours of one of the most talked about video games. Let's get started. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. So you start out in the mine with Lynn, and you work the mine. Your job will be basically one thing, to search this cave for a particular item. I personally find this a nice intro to the story, letting you browse and discover the controls that you're about to embark on for the rest of this game. Considering it's a space game though, I didn't imagine this game to be set in a mine. I imagined it to be set in space, but maybe this is a peaceful way of letting you control things before the combat kicks in letting you discover the gun controls before you actually have to use them with the mining laser, which is pretty much the same as a gun control. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. They send you in to investigate something further down the mine, something that's not quite right, something that's giving some off readings to the machines that they're using. As you proceed, you find out what it is. It turns out to be an artifact. And when you pick up the artifact, something strange happens. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Anyway, that was the story part I wanted to cover. I want to now move next onto the character customization menu. And this is a Bethesda game and you get what you get with a Bethesda game. It's nice, it's okay, it's really good. You might like some areas and you might not like others, but it's really, really in depth. I managed to create a character I wanted and with all the things you can do, like resizing the body, changing the hairstyle, the facial features, and the backgrounds that you can apply to your character. I'm not gonna show you everything, otherwise we'd all be here forever, but as you can imagine, there is a good amount of stuff you can change on your character before you begin your journey in this game. After we create our character, we go into an airlock and step into the vastness of space. And I've got to say, I feel like the music was over-dramatized. I walked onto a landing platform, not onto a spaceship. I just didn't feel it. If you've experienced this part, tell me what you think about this particular part. Next, you meet a guy called Barrett who introduces himself to you. He's the one who wants the artifact. So, you found something? Right here. A new guy found it. Unfortunately, this conversation gets interrupted by pirates. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. 
and this is your first taste of combat in the game and yes there are guns and there are also melee weapons my personal favorite is the melee weapons as you just get to run up to them and slash them though it's completely your choice what you want to use up to this point of the introduction, I love this game until it does something that I hate. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. He just gives me the ship. Why would you do that? I'm a complete stranger. Yes, I understand I need to have a ship to get around the galaxy, but is this the best way to acquire my first ship? I don't think there's any challenge in this. I feel like at this point, I should just have to do some sort of challenge to get this ship. Maybe it would be more interesting if the pirates killed everyone except our character, and our character had to, for example, sneak on to the pirate ship instead that might be somewhat more interesting but that's just me also haven't i seen this type of ship hand over before it reminds me of something from mass effect i've got big news for you shepherd captain anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the normandy the ship is yours now i'm sorry i love this game but the ship hand over scene just feels weird to me and for that reason alone i'm just gonna take away three points i feel like there should be a bit more of challenge at this point in the game i know we've only just started off but i just feel like we shouldn't get a ship that easily come on you're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced why it only affected you but then I have to remember, this isn't a combat game to save the universe or a planetary exploration or even so much as a spaceship combat. This is a space experience with a Bethesda story with all those elements crafted together to make a masterpiece. With a few flaws, but a masterpiece nevertheless. And moving on to the spaceship, which is beyond awesome. I love spaceships in video games. I love spaceships where you get to walk around and see the insides of the spaceship, not just sitting at the pilot seat. It turns the ship into the player's home. This is your ship. You sleep here. You live here. You take it with you wherever you go. And to know that you get to explore this as well, at any time even when flying through space this is awesome yes i know there are a few flaws like for example you can't physically control the ship when it's taking off but you get to explore the inside of your spaceship at any time and for some of you you may not even want to do the taking off which will probably make the game better for you and to be fair, they never designed it to do that in the first place, which makes this game one of the best space exploration games from the get-go, and I absolutely love it. And I won't go over too much, but another thing I love about this game is the cities. The cities make this game feel alive. The people, the design, the walking around, they made this city feel alive, and it is amazing overall this is a brand new space game and it's a great game to add to your collections if you like space games and to know that there will be things that you dislike in this game yes of course there will be this game is massive this size of a game is completely massive and you will bump into things you dislike so do you know what those are me personal things from earlier on and i'm going to give them back those three points i took off from earlier and as a result, for me, this game gets a full-on 10 out of 10. And before I leave, I want to know what score that you would give this game. Considering that this game is free on Game Pass, which is a win-win in my books, what would you give it? Anyhow, thanks for watching. I'm looking forward to playing some more of this game. And actually, I think this game is amazing. So if you haven't given it a go give it a check out. It's completely free on Game Pass if you have it, so you're not losing out on anything. Enjoy.